Greetings folks, I've got a bit of fun to share with you today. I have here a little unit called the MUD LED LED controller module from MUDDART RC in New Zealand. This is a little LED controller that can do things like this. It is PWM controlled, so you can control it from a switch on your radio. Uh, it has Wi-Fi updates, so you can use your smartphone or tablet to program the different sequences. You can update the firmware over the air via Wi-Fi because it's being updated and, and more features are being added all the time. It can address up to 500 LEDs. This is a three meter strip. I have 200 on here. It can address any different section of LEDs, different modes operating at the same time and overlapping. Uh, at the moment with this one, I have uh, indicator lights linked to the aileron stick on my transmitter. You can also operate it via the switch. It's really just up to your imagination what sort of effects you can uh, program into this thing. The sort of LEDs it can handle are uh, WS2812B, which is a 5 volt strip, WS2813, which is another 5 volt strip, or this one is the WS2815, which is a 12 volt strip. So you can use a, a 3S LiPo to power the LEDs. Uh, the board still has to get 5 volts, and that's coming from my uh, receiver. There's the little unit there. Very, very cool indeed. All right, so I'll show you close up uh, more about the board. So this is how it comes. Have the little board and some extra pins. For connecting LEDs and, and pin sets. Pins and pads, a little bit of soldering invo involved, but not very much. So we have the little Wi-Fi antenna there. And this is the side we need. We have 5 volts, ground, D4 and D2 are the pins we need to look at. So we need to solder pins onto 5 volts and ground. A D4, D4 is the controller signal out to the LEDs and the D2 is the PWM signal coming in from the receiver. With a 12 volt strip you do need to power the LEDs separately uh, but the grounds need to be common. To put it into Wi-Fi mode so you can set it up, uh, you can short the D7 pin to ground momentarily or you can switch from 0 to 100 quickly 5 times within 5 seconds using your switch and that will put it into Wi-Fi mode and I'll demonstrate that to you. So here's the one I've soldered up, I've actually soldered the pins on so that I can uh, plug in and out. That's just a, a 5 pin pin set and not using the D3, that's just there because it's there and I have a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pin DuPont connector uh, you can just use servo connectors if you want to so we've got 5 volts ground LED signal out and PWM signal in just goes in there like that So now I'm connecting it up. This is the, an ESC just to power the 5 volts to the receiver and this is the uh, 12 volts power to the LEDs. There they are lit up. So I have my PWM signal coming from channel 5 on the receiver. So I'll flick my channel 5 switch 5 times within 5 seconds and it should give us a green flash to show that we're in uh, Wi-Fi mode. Here we go, so that green flash is in, means we're in Wi-Fi mode. We can switch out of that there. So now we can uh, find the MUD LED network. There it is there. And in some cases it will automatically prompt you to go to the uh, IP address of the board there but uh, 
it's not working on my phone. So you type in this address 192.168.4.1 it'll take you to the MUD LED setup page. I've set it up with three modes, number of modes, so that's one, two and three and you can edit each one individually. So let's have a look at uh, editing number two which is what it's on now. So now we have all these different zones we can set up. How many is that? 16 different zones. So they're segments of LEDs that you can address separately. Let's have a look at zone one. So we've got the solid effect on. I've got a sort of fairly dim light. I can change that there like that. So you've changed to a purpley color. We'll keep it a bit dim so we can see what we're doing. So as you can see, you can change the hue, change, change the saturation and the brightness. Uh, you can also uh, select either a colour or a rainbow. Uh, rainbow will just cycle through all the different colours of the rainbow, like it is there. Uh, but it, it's fairly bright. You can select the duration for each effect. Let's have a look at some of the effects, actually. So we've got solid, we've got chase, scanner, which... Uh, uh, it's good fun to play with these things. You just sort of have to look at them all to see them. One-way scanner. Comet. Comet's a ripper. That just races around. Wipe. Fills it up, then sort of unfills it. Solid flash. And you can address the speed of the flash for uh, setting off epileptic fits and stuff like that. Double flash. You can reverse it. Let's put it on a chase or, yeah, chase is a good one. Uh, and you can also address which LEDs that refers to. So this is going all the way 1 to 201, that says, but you can go from you know 1 to 10. And then in zone 2, you can do 10 to 20. In zone 3, you can do 20 to 30 and have different colours, different effects for each different zone. It's just incredibly powerful and uh, you can let your creativity run wild. You can also add more modes. How many modes? Looks like we can do a maximum of eight modes. So that's eight different switch positions, or if you have a rotary dial, uh, eight different uh, sections, PWM sections on the rotary dial. So you can have eight different uh, effects for different switch positions. Stick with three, that's what I've got here. And the advanced section here, this is where you can update uh, firmware. Uh, I'm on 1.5.0 at the moment. All right, I'll edit my uh, middle zone, uh, my middle mode. Let's just see zone one. Chase, we wanted solid and fairly low value. Just to be a little bit subtle. There we go. You can reset it and that'll turn it off basically and put it back to, to default. So what I did to get it uh, reacting to the ailerons was I set up some logical switches so that uh, log logical switch one and two, uh, logical switch one is just when the aileron is greater than five and logical switch two is when the aileron is less than five and the output value is 100 or a minus, minus 100. But as you can see, anything you can use to put into a logical switch, you can use to operate the LEDs. So I'm wondering if I could do a, um, a visual vario to show whether you're lifting or sinking for when you're uh, thermal flying at night, which is a pretty ridiculous idea, but uh, it'd be worth trying, wouldn't it? So what I've done is connected up a Vario here to the receiver um, and I have changed those logical switches so that the, they are set off by the vertical speed uh, rather than the aileron stick. So now let's just try this out, see what happens when we lift it up. <laughs> there you go, it's actually reacting to the uh, vertical speed. That is very cool. <laughs> well, so <laughs> there's unlimited possibilities about what you can do with this little unit. Lots of fun indeed.
I'm just going to think up some fun different uses for this LED controller, the MUD LED from MUD Dart RC in New Zealand. I'll put links to the RC Group's um, support, Facebook group, and the um, MUD Dart RC website where you can purchase this. I'll try and think up some more novel uses for the LED controller. And if you have any interesting ideas for uh, activating the LEDs, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can work it out. Thanks for watching.